As you probably know, Drupal 10 is set to be released December 22nd, 2023. I'm recording this video just over a month before that, and I want to dive in today into one of the really cool new features. Hi, my name is Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. I want to look at CK Editor 5 in Drupal 10. Now, it's available right now as a core experimental module. You can turn it on if you want in a non-production environment, of course. As of Drupal 9.5, which is set to be released soon, and Drupal 10, CK Editor 5 will be the default editor for Drupal. Over here at drupal.org slash about slash 10, you see all of the new features coming to Drupal 10, the Claro administration theme that's been around now for a while. Olivero, again, been around for a while. CK Editor 5, better authoring experience and more modern editing. We'll see in just a moment that that's true. However, the changes are still pretty subtle. I don't know if more is coming or not there. And a few other things. I'm particularly interested in the new starter kit system. We'll do another video on that shortly. Again, it's set to be released, I believe, December 22nd. So let's dive in and take a look at the Beta 2 and what differences we see. So here I am, Beta 2, and I've created a test article. I've enabled the media module, and I've installed Editor Advanced Link, which as of this recording is available for Drupal 10. Not a lot of modules are, like for instance, Linkit and things like that. That's not available for Drupal 10 yet. Of course, we anticipate those updates pretty quickly after Drupal 10 launches. I'm gonna click on my test article here and let's take a look at the experience. I'm using a slightly modified version of the basic HTML text format where I've just added the insert media icon and I've enabled editor advanced link. So there's my heading three text. Again, nothing new here. The link itself is much nicer. If I double click on that and click on link, again, it doesn't allow me to automatically search for a, a node on my Drupal site yet. That's the link it module. But the editor advanced link module is nice. There's the URL, the title, the area label, CSS classes ID. And of course I can open it in a new tab or window. When you click on a link inside of the editor, it'll show you where that link is gonna go. You can edit it or you can delete the link itself. So that's a nice little advance. Other than that, this is all still pretty typical. One thing with the media that's kind of quirky. So I have a video that shows you how you can use image styles inside of the body field. And yes, it technically works inside of Drupal 10 exactly the same way except our new theme overrides most of that with a CSS setting that uses the default size and doesn't allow you to ch actually change it to be bigger. Incidentally, it does allow you to change it to be smaller, which is kind of weird. I'll have to dig into that a little bit. But here you see the edit handles above. I can toggle captions on and off. I can create a link from the image. I can override the alt text from the media module. As I said, I can use different image styles based on creating image styles and updating the media views, as well as left justified, which is nice. It automatically adds some padding, sensor justified, and right justified. You can't click and drag and make it bigger, but that's the same with media in CK Editor 4. Mind you, you can do that with an embedded image it's just a click and drag. It doesn't actually change the version of the image based on an image style, which is inadequate in my opinion. So if I come back over to this media and I click body large, the largest is gonna get here is 480, even though that image style says 900. That's a function of our current theme. Incidentally, with the current theme, I can click and drag and make this as big as I want. When I click save, Olivera is just going to override that and do its thing with its images. This obviously won't happen in other themes, but in the default theme, it does. So a little bit of a disconnect there between the ability to resize an image inside of the body field and how it's displayed by our current theme. 
Of course, you can view source. And if I switch over to the full HTML, once again, I'm not going to see any changes here, except there's a fantastic insert code block here by default that does a nice job of inserting a code block. You can change it to C, C sharp, CSS, HTML, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, as a code block within your article, which is actually, again, a pretty nice feature. One thing to note over here at the Drupal.org page for CK Editor 5 change records, it's interesting as you look down here, they highlight some of the nice features, but CK Editor 5 is a complete overwrite of CK Editor 4. There is a built-in upgrade path if you're upgrading from CK Editor 4. And an important note here, we recommend that custom and contrib module authors begin work. This is an understatement. CK Editor 5 is a complete rewrite of CK Editor 4. And the author here is suggesting that it is more significant than the Drupal 7 to 8 update. That's, that's a pretty bold statement. All custom JavaScript has to be rewritten. If your module was using an upstream CK Editor 4 plugin before, it's not certain that there'll be a CK Editor 5 upstream plugin. So big changes coming with CK Editor 5. I got to be honest, for a content editor, at least at this point, there's not a whole lot of difference. The changes seem to be pretty cosmetic. There's obviously tons of changes under the hood, which is going to make it easier for developers to integrate into CK Editor 5. But until the final versions of all of our favorite modules are released, I don't think we'll see the full impact of how much better CK Editor 5 is in our Drupal editing experience. The bottom line for site builders, of course, is does it work for our editors? Well, I think the good news there is, yeah, it's going to be much nicer. It's a nicer interface. It's cleaner. It's going to be easier to visualize some things once we get some of those quirks worked out between the default theme and our new editor. Well, thanks for joining me today. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. My name's Rod Martin. We'd love you to subscribe, like the video. We'll see you next time.